quiet nights of Cape Elizabeth, Maine, a series of peculiar break-ins began to unfold. The town, usually serene, was startled awake. Residents who left their doors unlocked found themselves the unwitting hosts to an unknown visitor. But this intruder wasn't like any other. He didn't come to steal or harm. His intent was far more unsettling. He came to watch them sleep. Imagine waking up in the dead of night to find a man standing over your bed, silently observing. Before you could even process the scene or attempt to catch him, he'd disappear into the shadows, leaving a trail of unease behind. The townspeople were unnerved, the sense of peace they once knew, shattered. They named him the Cape Intruder. In an attempt to reclaim their safety, neighborhood watch groups sprung up, especially in areas most affected. The police were on high alert, compiling a sketch of this elusive man. The image that emerged was eerie. A white male, about 5 foot 10, medium build, aged between 18 and 23, with brown, fuzzy hair, often clad in dark clothing. This sketch circulated, stirring a buzz of recognition. Ten calls came in, two pointing to the same individual. Despite this, evidence was thin, and the mystery continued to deepen. The intrusions, occurring in August, December, and February, abruptly ceased. The Cape Intruder, it seemed, had vanished as mysteriously as he appeared. His motives remained a topic of speculation. Some theorized he suffered from somnophilia, a rare condition where one finds arousal in watching others sleep. But, without any progression to physical acts, at least none that were known, the true intent of the Cape Intruder lingered in the realm of the unknown. And so the question lingered. How many slept through his visits? unaware of his watchful eyes. His ability to abruptly stop, to vanish without a trace, only deepened the mystery. The Cape Intruder, a shadow in the night, a whisper in the wind, left a town forever wondering, forever watching. Or maybe the Cape Intruder didn't stop. Perhaps his urge to remain undetected became stronger than his compulsion to watch. It's chilling to think he might still be out there, simply better at avoiding capture. You see, cases like this aren't as rare as we'd hope. Take, for instance, the events of 2008 in Halifax, Nova Scotia. An unknown man, much like our Cape Intruder, entered the rooms of young women. His actions, however, were more sinister. Dubbed the Halifax Sleep Watcher, he escalated from merely watching to touching these women as they slept, unnoticed and uncaught. The sleep watcher was elusive, described similarly. A white male in his early 20s, about 5 foot 10, with short dark hair and medium build. When a sketch circulated, a theory emerged. He might be a stressed student acting out during semester beginnings or ends, a pattern noted in some serial criminals. Then, a breakthrough in 2011. On September 15th, a woman in a shared flat was awakened by a noise. She confronted a figure in her doorway who fled upon discovery. This intruder was identified as Barry Edward Sinclair, a man already known to authorities with a long history of convictions. Though he was sentenced to five years for this incident, he was acquitted of being the Halifax sleep watcher due to insufficient evidence. Fast forward to this year in San Bernardino, California, Another unsettling case. A couple's home was invaded. A wedding ring and cash were taken. But it's what their security footage revealed that's truly disturbing. The intruder, at one point, paused in their bedroom, spending a moment just watching them sleep. In another strange twist, a nurse experienced a chilling encounter. After an intruder visited her home, he left with a haunting advice. You should lock your door. It's not safe. Although he was arrested, his identity remained undisclosed as he was under investigation for more crimes. 2016 brought a disturbing revelation to a Chicago couple, Jack McKercher and Jordan Brasanskis. Jordan couldn't find her purse, so Jack reviewed their security footage, 
expecting to solve a simple mystery. Instead, they stumbled upon something far more sinister. In the footage, both were asleep on their couch, the TV flickering in the background. For nearly 15 minutes, an intruder stood there, watching them and the TV, before silently departing. He was never caught, but local authorities suspected him to be the same man seen on video checking door handles in their neighborhood. Then, between 2016 and 2018, Georgetown, Texas, faced its own string of home intrusions. Residents would wake in the night to find someone in their bedroom, only for the figure to leave upon being noticed. One homeowner, checking his backyard game camera, captured an image of a man roaming at around 2.30 a.m. He was suspected to be the intruder, yet remained unidentified. These stories, each unnerving in their own right, remind us of a chilling truth. The motivations of those who commit such acts might always be a mystery. They lurk in the shadows, more common than we dare to believe. So, take this as a solemn reminder. Always lock your doors at night. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side. If you enjoy these kinds of eerie, spine-tingling tales, don't forget to like and comment. Your engagement helps the algorithm notice the channel, bringing more of these chilling stories to light. So, if you're keen on unraveling more mysteries from the shadows, your support is key. Stay safe, and remember, always lock your doors at night.